This is what the brake mounts look like on my new carbon fork. Neither one of these mounts are square and they're not even level to each other. We have a few options. We can use sandpaper on a block and sand it flat that way. Park Tools makes a tool specifically for this. Or we could do what I'm going to do, put this in the mill and mill these flat. To make sure I got the alignment exactly right, I made a jig. So this is effectively a pair of V-blocks that bolt together. The way I'm going to hold this in the mill is I am going to put the through axle into this and clamp it in place. That then will ensure that the through axle is square to this face. I made sure the fork was perfectly aligned with the mill using an angle finder. I've got the fork clamped into that jig and I've got that jig clamped in the vise. I added a weight to the steerer tube. Instead of trying to clamp onto the carbon fork, I didn't want to damage the carbon. I'm using a brand new 5 8 inch end mill. I wanted an end mill that was good and sharp to make sure I got a good clean cut and a good clean surface. I made three passes. Each pass I removed 0.1 millimeters or roughly four thousandths of an inch. I wanted these passes to be light. I wanted to be careful and take my time so that I didn't screw something up and remove too much material. Here's what these mounts look like after machining. So now they are perfectly aligned both to the through axle and to each other. I've got the caliper put back on. Note the consistent gap between the pad and the rotor, top to bottom and on both sides. This caliper is aligned perfectly to that rotor. 